declaring the winner by submission due to a triangle choke. And now, the new interim UFC lightweight champion of the world. Tony Ferguson's interim title win set the stage for his long-awaited shot at the vacant undisputed belt. In a fight with rival Habib Nurmagomedov. 10 win streak versus 25 win streak. Let's go. Woo! Here we go! A mere days before the unification bout with Nurmagomedov, Ferguson put into the greatest setback of his career. Tony Ferguson uh, hurt himself. He tore his LCL. Tony Ferguson has pulled out of the fight. He's injured. He hurt his knee. The interim title just goes away. Things have changed. I just saw you in the hotel lobby Crazy. a couple of hours ago. And now you are fighting even the main event. Tony Ferguson presents the most interesting challenge. I wanted to see that fight. I still want to see that fight. A lot of balls were bouncing in the air. The ball that came out was the Cards' Mo New Yorker, Raging Ally Quince, is stepping into the headliner tonight. Right away, beasted him down. He's getting mauled like everybody else before him. But in a few short moments, Dagestan is going to have its first UFC champion. With my injury, I had to make a decision. Am I going to sit here and mope? Or am I going to get back to work? Undeterred by misfortune, Ferguson would bounce back in record time. Tony Ferguson, six months after a major knee surgery, back to the octagon. And regain his place as the world's number one lightweight contender. You might be looking at the most exciting fighter pound for pound in mixed martial arts today. Tony Ferguson, back on that UFC canvas for the first time in about a year, taking on Showtime Pettis. First round, buddy, you ready? Are you ready? Ferguson came home from the hospital after surgery in April, immediately started doing 20-pound curls until he couldn't work out anymore. He is a freak. See Pettis going right after the knees right away. Ferguson. Right away. Right, right after away. the leg. you got to realize, when you're talking about six months from a catastrophic knee surgery like that, you got to wonder if it's 100%. Well, six months is a ridiculous time frame, I'll be honest. It takes at least nine to get as strong as you need it. So the fact that he's pushing the pace like that is pretty crazy. And he did no physical therapy. He took his recovery into his own hands, none. I honestly have no words for that. What the last six months have held for this absolute warrior of a human being to come back and produce the way he did tonight is truly the stuff of legends. What a quick turnaround from your knee surgery to come back. Was there any concern at all that you would rush this? No, man. No. With 11 consecutive wins, a winning streak that dates to October of 2013, Ferguson once again might be one win away from an undisputed title shot. All these punches are starting to take an effect on Donald. Now you see him just kind of taking it to Cowboy. Donald's going to have to answer so hard to know what's coming. Oh, elbow. Beautiful spinning elbow. These boys are going at it. Tony El This fate would happen, and the Magomedov fight would once again be booked. Just in time for the world as we know it to change indefinitely.